That smells real. No, no, I'll get it. I'll get it. Hmm? Cheers, Hammer. What do we got here? You want me to do the slate too? I'll do everything. Oh, there's the Vegas one. We're talking about Vegas. There's the Vegas episode. I thought what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Where's that go? Yeah, we can't tell. All right, we're done. <laughs> this is Dave. I call him Hammer. He was a champion golfer and then got struck by lightning. Now he's a stand-up comedian. True story. This is Mark. Everyone calls him Z. He's been golfing since he was a fetus. Now he's on tour, but instead of playing the shots, he's calling them. We travel to amazing places and compete in crazy matches. We play for something awesome and something stupid. And we'll do whatever it takes to win. Do we need that still? All right. Now I do the whole thing like this. <laughs> It's nice flying in at night because you see the lights coming down in Vegas. You get that, hey. We didn't get a chance to talk much on the plane either. It was wonderful. <laughs> when you're checking into the hotel, you're like this close to being free to go have fun in Vegas. Right. Even if there's no line, you're like, come but on. <laughs> Just give me a room. Any room. Take my bags from me so I can go now, please. Vegas, you fly in at night, you can go golfing. And that's what we did. I hadn't been playing a lot going into this. That's uh, Shankadelic. It was off the hole. I had an hour and a half to find a swing. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> While also making sure you don't find yours. You're a freak. You're an either absolute way, freak. Either way, baby. <laughs> I don't even know how to hold it. Oh, that's not bad, Hammer. Let's Game switch. on. Tomorrow we're going to switch. When we go on a trip, you're excited to see your friend. You know, we're pretty excited to be together to play, and we're having fun. Back of my head, there's a big match tomorrow. Yeah, because neither one of us wants to lose. We want to have a good time, but you don't want to be on the short end of the stick. So, Zeke, this is your left-handed club, right? Oh! <laughs> you six other <laughs> Jay? It turns out there's a course. You can go play uh, at night there, but uh, Princess doesn't want to wear white pants golfing, so we had to go back to the hotel and change. I don't golf in white jeans. I do a lot of things in white jeans, being Italian, but I do not golf in white jeans. <laughs> oh, he's so precious. <laughs> yeah, I changed too, just because I wanted to keep up. <laughs> Once we're back in the hotel, I'm like, well, I'm gonna change. I'm not gonna let you psychologically beat me out there. They've got this par three course that's lit up so you can actually play golf at night. Like it was a good par three course. I'd play it during the day. Playing at night, come on. I, can't, I couldn't believe it. I was so happy. So speaking of tomorrow, my friend, where are we golfing? <laughs> Found a great place, man. Hammer, you missed the beautiful breakfast, my friend. Yogurt parfait, coffee, I had it ready for you, but you're busy sleeping. Anyway, while you're sleeping, I'm working for us. This is what we're playing for today after the big match. The Richard Petty driving experience. Oh my gosh. Las Vegas Motor Speedway, 200 miles an hour around the Oval. Come on. We both go, but as always, loser pays. That's oh, the deal. I love this. We on? It's on. All right, go get ready. Okay. Don't make me wait. Okay. You handled the golf course this time around, so I had no idea where we were playing golf for our actual match. I picked a Scottish course. It's called Royal Lynx, right? It's got replica holes of British Open courses and then a couple of unique holes. Right out of the gate, you're right into the whole Scottish theme with the, the Clara Jug replica sitting there and, yeah. the, and the Scottish style clubhouse. So like they own that from start to finish. Like when you're when you're driving into the golf course, that's like a oh, here we go moment. Like I still get a little bit of a heartbeat. Match play in Vegas, 18 holes to the death. To the death. To the death. <laughs> All right, Hammer Par four. Okay. Honors. Good luck, buddy. Play well today, okay? Cheers, pal. Like what? Hold on. I want to skip over this part. The whole point of the tee flip, you flip a tee in the air, whoever it points at, that's who goes first. It actually got stuck to my thumb, and then I had to call body interference on myself for a retoss. Flip that again, I, it was a body interference. Had to call body interference. <laughs> There's no such thing. You can't have to call something that never existed. <laughs> oh, wow. that's you. Go get it, kid. Enjoy the honor while you have it. That is down the second hole. That's perfect. Mark Zucchino on the first hole, playing from the second. Oh, you bugger. Right out of the gates, that's how you treat your friends? 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah! <laughs> That was good. I know he's upset. It's gonna eat him alive for the next 17 holes. If I could only make the birdie on one. It's like in comedy, it's like getting your first laugh. When you get your first laugh, yes, then you're in. You're in. Yeah, we took two different ways of getting here, didn't we? That's gotta be good. Though. That is. That's a golf shot there, Thank bud. You. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah. I think you're inside me. We both really want to win. We both play it cool. But we have a blast. I really want to win. Oh man, you destroyed that. What are you going back to the cart now? Well, you do that. You're going to make a birdie. I got to hit a driver now. I just like that I got you to change clubs. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's why you got to play your own game, boys and girls. I have no idea how you lose that in the middle of the wide open, but I did. So in match play, uh, you don't have to putt out. If your opponent says uh, pick it up, you're done. One down, this match is tight! That was a good shot for like 90% of the way. This would be a good time to stick it to you then. I know psychologically, if I can hit a good shot here, I'm now I'm gonna be turning the match in my favor. How does yours stay? I hit it better. I don't think so. Nice stroke. Oh! Two up. Look at this. This is solid right here. Postage stamp, replica. This is uh, one of the best replicas I've ever seen of this hole. I hit first on the part three, and I stuff it. Be good. Be good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's real good. That was sexy. That was a good swing. For a fat old guy. So I'm three up after eight. What could go wrong? A lot of holes in the desert. <laughs> Apparently a lot could go wrong. Ninth hole, par five. All I gotta do is pitch this up close, but instead, I get an idea. I just wanted to try a Scottish shot, you know? Decided to try a bump and run. Mm. I'll try a theme thing. Maybe I thought it would make good television. <laughs> <laughs> it did make great television. You gave me the hole. Ah, what a mess. Gosh, dang it. I'm so bad. I hate winning them like that, Hammer, but I gotta take it. Ah, I never felt so mad being two up. All right, Hammer, you got me after nine, buddy. Oh, I gave you that ninth, though. You did, but you're still two up. But you know I like my presses. So I made a few calls, it is Vegas, and I would like to press you for the following. How you feel about that? <laughs> I'm serious, are you in? I could end up on the short side of the stick on this one. <laughs> oh, you better. Oh, wow. Are you in? I can't turn down a press. I have played the road hole at St. Andrew's Old Course. It's got to be one of the top three par fours in the world. Emmer, I'm two down, nine to go, my friend. So you uh, are looking good in the long game, but I just showed you the press. Okay, You know buddy. what it is. I know what it we is. We agreed. The press right. is live. It's either perfect or I'm insane. One or the other. I nutted that thing. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. You know what? Well, now you're in your own skull, which was the idea. I win nine, I lay in the press, I win 10, then we get to 11. <laughs> I don't think I actually got to 11. <laughs> <laughs> That's in a lot of trouble. The show is the unraveling of Dave Hempstead on camera, and then I never, no one hears from me again. We're filming someone have a mental breakdown. <laughs> That's what the show is. I have zero confidence in my ability to make a putt right now. Thankfully, I didn't have to putt on 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't go in there. Oh, stay out of there. Stay out of there. You, you'll put the oxygen tank on me for a minute when you give me 12. <laughs> God, God bless you. Now, this is a uh, swing city here, because every hole changes everything. I thought for sure you were birdie. And he had a beautiful shot in about uh, six feet or something. And you left it short, straight up the hill. Cardinal sin, uphill birdie putt, shy in the heart. Just never do that. That, that is so pathetic, Zucchino. And suddenly I got to make a three foot side hill putt 
It's not a long putt. I don't want to look. Just make this, please. Uh, not even necessarily a hard putt, but in the condition I was in mentally, I may have been the biggest putt of my life. Yes! I mean, you want to win, but you're not rooting for the other guy to blow it. I'm so happy you made that. <laughs> so I believe that he was actually cheering for me to make that putt. I really do. I was. Right How about this? Good, good right now. <laughs> you said good, good. Good, good. Let's <laughs> you said let's good, good. Good, good, good. Let's get out of here. I thought I hit a great tee ball, and I just overcut it, found the left uh, trees. The electric magenta looked really nice against the amber <laughs> waves of grain. <laughs> found it, got a club on it, but you were sitting in a perfect spot, so I got a par five I can reach. I got like 220 or something to a yeah. back pin. I hit a great shot. I got a great sandwich yardage, and I still think I can make four on this hole. If that holds, it's gold. If it holds, it's gold. Bah! <laughs> Man, are you tight? If it holds, it's gold. I actually thought you might be in for birdie. For eagle. Well, I didn't think you made it. Oh. I always think I make it. I'm long. No, that's me. Oh, you are We're too both long. Lo you gotta be kidding me. Let the lob wedging begin. <laughs> Let the flop shot tournament commence. <laughs> he is going to the 62 degrees. The First time we've seen the 62 in this situation today. Oh, yes. That's a good one. You're going to have that. That's birdie hammer? Oh, yeah, that's birdie. Well, I got my 62 as well. Oh, go. I had it online. His whole life he's been a little short. <laughs> of course, he came up short. <laughs> 16. OK, here we go. I've righted the ship. I'm now even in the press. I've clawed my way back from a personal darkness. And I feel like I've let him right back in. Get left. Oh! I have to make mine. And I miss a very makeable putt. Oh! Ah! Oh! All of a sudden, one down in the match, one up in the press. Two holes to go. Anything could happen. And we're back. <laughs> Zeke, you want to set up 17? We get to 17, 228, little breeze off the right, slightly hurting, which puts me right into a tweener. I either munch four iron or lay off something else. And I mean, I pure this four iron. I just pierce this thing, flight it right through the wind. And I've got 17 feet for birdie now. And I, I got the heat on you now. You, you were not comfortable with that tee shot. I could tell right away. Your shot was gorgeous. I did not enjoy it. <laughs> now I come up 20 yards short, and he's sitting there with a birdie putt. It's not looking good. That is not the easiest pitch shot in the world that you've left yourself there for your second. I had a really good pitch shot. It just didn't grab. I thought it would stop quicker. First, I got to dodge his birdie putt. I've seen him make putts on me from this distance before, so I'm always braced for that. Ah, that's good. All right, Hammer, knock it in, or I win the press. Ah, uh, OK. At that moment, I had to forget everything else that had ever happened, ever in my life, I think. I had just somehow find a way to make this putt. Oh, man! <sighs> you know what? Like all great champions, Hammer, you made it when it counted. Come on! Like, I don't know about you, but I hit mine where I was looking. I don't know if I did or not, I had my eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> Can't script it better than this, really. I mean, everything's on the line on 18, right? Cool. Drama, we got high drama. What a shot. You're sick. You are sick. Look at that pin. Oh, okay. Our work is not yet over. Not even close. Oh, man. And I don't want to call them eagle opportunities because they're not like kicking eagles, but we both had putter in our hand for eagles on the last. I had an amazing putt. As it's tracking, I'm thinking this has got a chance. This has got a chance. Just didn't break. I made birdie, and I'm terrified. 
Okay, pal, nothing heroic. And now it's uh, wait and see. All you can do is watch at that point. You left at the perfect distance to where I'm going. Is that missable? But as I'm thinking about whether to give it to you, he stepped up and knocked it in. I was thinking of giving it to you. I was thinking about it. I will be my pleasure, because you are one of my best buddies and longtime rivals, to take you NASCARing at the Richard Petty Experience, my friend. Thank you, Tommy. So Thanks for the match. But I, uh, I lost the press, right? You did lose the press, but the good news is <laughs> I'm paying. That's right. the good news. Yeah, something tells me I'm paying for it tonight, though. Par a 230-yard par three into the wind, and then birdie a par five to finish when everything's on the line. We finally stepped up. Damn good golfers. Yes, yeah. yeah, fine players. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wonderful round of golf. <laughs> With bad news ahead for one of us. <laughs> Welcome back what to Off the Hazel. Uh, can I get a clean one in? Yeah, sure. Welcome back to Off the Hazel. There, like was that so bad? Like we're ever gonna use that. <laughs> All right, Hammer, to the winner, go to the spoils. What's the track record? <laughs> Here, 209 miles an hour. All right, let's get it. <laughs> when I get there, I see those turns, I see those grandstands, I hear the engines. You know what? I'm good being a passenger. I think three laps is fine. <laughs> it's not called the passenger experience. What kind of guy goes to the Ridge Petty driving experience and doesn't want to drive? Car's rolling. Oh, he's in there. All right. I thought the car was rolling on its own there for a second. Excuse me, do you have a passenger's license? <laughs> Your left leg, put it up like this. Right. Hold underneath. Right. Bring your right leg up, slide yourself in, just like going into a hot tub. Have you seen the size of my legs? <laughs> oh my lord. You gotta remember, I played center for the national Italian basketball team. <laughs> All right, three laps of fury. When we came out flat and then you go boom and hit like that 90 degree, freaking out. It all became one big blur of speed. It was very different experience than I anticipated. Let's just put it that way. Your face coming out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Next time you can just sit in the corporate box, have an espresso. He'd be a great emperor. <laughs> That's his closet fantasy. He wants to be an emperor. Not surprised you took the wheel, however. All right. Thanks for this. Oh, yeah. I thought I would fit better. <laughs> Once I got a hang of the car, oh, man. That was fun. Oh, I am loving this. My only thing was how can I get it going faster? That's all I wanted to do was drive that faster. It was great. At any point, did you feel like Tom Cruise? Yeah, a little bit. Coming around the corner with the speedway in the background, a little bit. Nice. Yeah. What do you want to do now? Oh, you have plans tonight, my friend. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. I was keen to have a drink. And you needed liquid courage to fulfill your obligations. South Point Hotel, oh my gosh, great. They got uh, 80, 800 bars. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know many bars. <laughs> they have a movie theater. There's a swimming pool, which we didn't spend enough time in. Well, this is not exactly an outdoor body. They have a bowling alley. No, no. Oh. No, I'm not even that good a bowler, but I felt like a star. Compared to me. <laughs> See right. <laughs> Not my entire family has walked upright. I'm only like the second generation. But I will commit, I'm never gonna say no to a challenge from this guy, I can tell you that. And three. <laughs> three. I see you crush four easy. Takes seven years for your colon to pass a marchino cherry. That thing will live in your colon. It comes out green, they stick a stem in, they dye the whole thing red. Do not eat it. How long do you think those hot dogs are gonna be in us? Eat the cherry. <laughs> Eventually, you have to stop drinking. And then, showtime. I think I was hoping you were gonna forget.
I kind of feel like a wrestler. You've seen like a blonde, you know, Texas style wig. Well, like a, a big bird on crack. <laughs> I know, right? I got the headdress, but the, it stabs into the head. How's yours fit? Good? Yeah, I, well, I make my own stuff, so. Oh, uh, see, that's smarter. Can I take a picture selfie with you? Sure. <laughs> you're, not, you're not a professional drag star, I'm guessing, so it's okay. No, you know what? But you, it's one step at a time. Hey, I got an idea. What's that? Let's go to Vegas, play golf, get dressed up in feathers and bras. Us? <laughs> <laughs> Ten bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks. Stuff in the bra. Stuff Where are you bra. getting me money? I mean, I should be your agent on this one. You get me oh, money. Oh, ten there. bucks, lady. I was adored on the strip. You're the I, best I, I looking was... girl oh, I've yeah. seen the whole oh, time. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> People loved me. I was thinking of checking out Fremont Street. You up for that? It's your dime, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta tell you, Hammer, you look pretty good in that. It doesn't make sense that you can't say no to a press. I won the match. Yeah, you've never been able to say no to a press. You're not allowed. That's why you picked it, because you wanted to do it. <laughs> There's a part of me that was a little disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? You got my headdress. Well, that's the story of what happened in Vegas. Where'd we go next? You remember? I don't know. I gotta go. I got spa treatment. Break for lunch. Where did we go next?